Hello ladies and gentlemen, Panzer here, and welcome back to Cross Out. And today's build, well, I thought about making something with the 25mm autocannon, something I've not really done a lot of before, and this is what I've come up with. So this is kind of a half track, uh, but it uses two small tracks here, and the reason mainly is because I, well, I didn't have any armoured tracks available, so I kind of made do with these instead, and it actually does help with keeping the speed somewhat okay. I wouldn't say they're fantastic uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Of course, these, these twin wheels at the front are uh, just to provide a bit more structure, and uh, they do have a decent amount of hit points. This is not a fast vehicle, okay? I, I do need to point that out. This is not a fast vehicle. And we do have this pickup cabin down here, which already does not allow us to have a huge amount of tonnage. So, uh, given that the autocannon, since uh, the most recent patch anyway, uh, has had its structure points reduced and its mass increased, if I remember correctly anyway, that's what happened. Uh, so, it's a little bit different to kind of work with in terms of builds. Uh, so, what I've got here is I've got a weapon cooler, and I've got an improved radiator underneath there, and we've also got a hazardous generator. Which, normally I would say is a weak spot, but in this actual build, it actually takes a number of shots to actually get through there, mainly because of the amount of layering going on here. So, it tends to actually... I don't know, it tends to have most of its armor removed and this, that the generator ends up being exposed, uh, but it doesn't explode immediately, which is good! Because uh, if that goes, then we lose everything at once. And the, this autocannon is easier to destroy than before. The light machine gun actually doesn't seem to get destroyed as easily. Uh, but we're going to see what happens when we take it into a battle. So uh, without further ado, here we go. Okay, here we go. And now I must stress that this vehicle is just below 4,000 power score. So we are going to be seeing some very high level vehicles here, but I've designed this to kind of be a mid-range kind of vehicle. Uh, not specifically for sniping, but kind of something that y you do want to stay at a certain distance between uh, yourself and the enemy. So, not really something to be used for brawling. It does have decent protection up front, but it's not enough to really, and it's definitely not equipped for that sort of close combat scenarios. So let's just try and peek up around this corner here and see what we can do with that. Alright, there's some enemies over there. There's one in the water. Let's try and land some hits there. We've got a couple of hits, but nothing significant yet. I believe that's somebody there. Could be. Yes, that is somebody there. Uh, those look like wasp launcher rockets coming our way. The arc, a very distinctive arc there. I think one of them detonated near us, but not enough to actually do any significant damage. That's one thing good about having uh, vestigial parts on the front, that is, parts that are intended to be destroyed, is that it doesn't deduct from your overall structure uh, when you take a hit there, so they're kind of just intended to take the hit for you. So we're going to sneak across here, hopefully nobody getting it in our way. We're getting a little bit too close to those enemies there on the map there. Don't want to get too close to them, but I don't think we have much of a choice given that uh, basically everybody's been killed. Having to lead the target a uh, significantly larger amount. That guy's going to the cap. I'm going to try and take out this cannoneer over here. There is somebody on camp there. I think they've been killed by a bot actually, surprisingly. Uh, the bot actually do it, pulling their weight there. Alright, this enemy here is a, is a bot, but they've got <laughs> what looks like a mammoth cannon on the top there. Just trying to take out that underneath. That's an ammo pack. There we go. Uh, but I think this is pretty much lost, even if we do get any kills here. Just going to finish off as many as we can. This Power Man 5000 trying to run away. He gets destroyed. Going on an absolute rampage here, and we've been shot down. Uh, Bonzi, I don't think he's going to be able to... to... Oh, no, he has. He actually has pushed him off the cap, but I don't think it's going to be enough because they've already taken out so many of our cap points. And unless he can kill him before the time runs out, I don't think we're going to be looking at too peachy. And I believe that's pretty much it. Yep, there goes the game. 
Alright, so as I said, really, just not the sort of vehicle for brawling, and because we've kind of forced into that close range situation, of course, in that particular situation, I could have been a little bit further away, but I basically wanted to go in there and neutralize the cap as much as possible, so I was kind of forced into that situation, unfortunately and out of the vehicle's comfort zone, but we still managed to do significant amount of damage. The main reason I say that this is not really a close combat vehicle is that that autocannon takes forever to turn around. So you really don't have the speed to keep up with a lot of the faster vehicles, especially when they're running rings around you. Now you can of course make use of the vehicle's uh, tracks which allow you to pivot, uh, as you would expect of course. The pivoting ability does actually help a lot, but uh, you just don't have that all-round protection to really cover all the points. You really need to make use of, of just that distance you can get between them. So, really not an ideal situation for us to be in. Right, I'm going to try and get around this corner here. And hopefully, yep, there's some enemies there that we can get a couple of shots onto. This is a little bit longer range than I want to be. Uh, and it does look like somebody's on our cap now. We've got Gremlin going back to the cap now. Going to take some shots over at this Shiket 63. He has killed our teammate. Let's see if we can avenge him. And there's Power Man 5000 pushing Sodian, or so Sodland into the water there. Definitely not an ideal situation. That does look like a Reaper autocannon with the sheer rate of fire that he's putting up. Which uh, would not surprise me if it was. Yes, that is absolutely a Reaper. So uh, he's absolutely shredded us. Alright, that last match. Just not the best situation for us at all. And... Uh, yeah, going up against a Reaper is definitely not what I expected to have happen. But then again... This is cross out, and uh, you can see it's just the sheer volume of fire that that thing puts up. It's not the most accurate weapon in the world, so trying to uh, pinpoint a lot of your enemies is going to be difficult with something like a Reaper. Uh, but nevertheless, it the just sheer volume of fire that you can put up absolutely makes up for it. Right, we've got an enemy just in that corner there putting shots onto that bot. It looks like some rockets firing off in this direction. I think that might be a hurricane launcher. I don't know why it's actually fired off in that angle, but uh, maybe it's saw a bird. That's a cannon shot coming past us now. I think I see one over there, but just don't have the accuracy to hit them, unfortunately. Alright, Kenneth might be able to draw them out. Go, little bot, go! Yeah, able to put some fire up there. A sighting visor would definitely be very useful in this situation, unfortunately. I forgot to put one on, so uh, that's kind of why it doesn't have one. There's an enemy over there through the trees. I think I clips him a couple of times. He's the only one left, so <laughs> the entire team's going to go in there. So we haven't really done much this round. Alright, here we go. So, the last match we didn't really do too much uh, to really help the team, unfortunately. I'm going to go out far to the left here. There's Chiquette over there with his uh, Reaper autocannon. Very fast vehicle he's got there. And definitely the very typical cage-like design that I've seen time and time again. There's a lot of enemies over there, so I'm just going to put some fire on here while we back up and get behind cover. So it's kind of forcing them into the center there. Alright, somebody's gotten through. I think we might be able to... To intercept them. Oh, I think they've... Yep, no, they've been... They've definitely been pushed back already. Looks like... Yep, we do have a bot pushing up through the middle here. Put a couple of shots into his cabin there. Get out of here, Brian. Nobody wants you. There's Sodlin over there. Gonna put some fire into into him here. We are being shot at b from behind, so I'm just gonna try to make a retreat <laughs> as quickly as we can. 
We've certainly lost a lot of weight off the back there. And a lot speedier than we were before, but we reduced to only having this light machine gun left. So, not a lot we can do. Unfortunately, that's a cannon shot we've just taken to the front. So we're definitely in a very bad situation. But we're still holding on, we're still alive. Not out of the fight yet. Now, we're not doing a lot of damage here, but uh, hopefully trying to chip away at what they have. Uh, and trying to, of course, get those cabin shots in just to wear out their structure points as much as we can. There's just a biblical amount of smoke coming out the back of this pickup that can barely see anything through it. Uh, appears to be another bot that's struggling to get going. He's definitely not in a good situation. So we've got 200 points of structure left and half our vehicle destroyed. What can we do? I mean, I feel like there's mostly bots left. It's just these two bots left uh, on their team. So really, we could actually still make something of ourselves. All right, Edward's destroyed. Let's get a couple of shots into Brian here. Put some shots into his cabin there. You can see the little yellow numbers come up every time you hit the cabin. And that's really what I'm trying to do, just chip away at his cabin here, because it looks like... Oh, the match time ran out. <laughs> Alright, and last match of the day. And just, yeah, this is a fairly successful design. Uh, although, in my opinion, it's still a little bit boring. It's not really the sort of thing that I would normally play with. Uh, mainly because I'm just not a fan of auto cannons. I like machine guns, but uh, obviously everyone has their own preferences. Uh, and I do prefer cannon builds or even uh, rocket builds in general. But of course the trade-off being the ammo count. This is a far more conservative design, of course, if you really want to go with something a little bit simpler. But overall it's, uh, yeah, just not really my thing, unfortunately. No, that's not to say it doesn't work. It definitely works, as you can see here. We've got a lot of enemies coming into the middle there. Just going to put some fire up on them as much as we can. Uh, try to stop, deter them from going in. See if we can snipe away at anybody in the cap right now. Doesn't appear that we might be able to. Oh, there's one. And there's another one over there. Going to get some shots on them. Of course, the ones that we're really looking for are the players, and I just don't see them coming out. So, we're going to finish off this bot over here, if we can. Of course, as you know, one of the biggest criticisms I have about Crossout's reward system right now is really just how it favours kills and assists over damage. I would have preferred a damage-based uh, point system over just pure kills and assists just simply because of yeah just how much um you really do i mean if you if an opponent has a lot of very strong parts then you aren't going to get demolition points simply because you can't get those shots in to really damage them all right that is the reaper there and you can see the reaper just spraying all over the all over the vehicle not really able to hit anything in particular and this one over here has a Vulcan on it. And they managed to kill us with it. But yeah, just not really a big fan of the reward system in general. I feel that, although demolition, of course, is the main objective, you should probably still get, I don't know, something like a demolition assist, maybe just for damaging certain parts, especially critical parts such as weapons uh, that are later removed by somebody else. Uh, that really plays a part because you're working as a team to really take down the enemy and I feel that that's the way it should be done. I think that's probably the, one of the better ways of going about it. But of course, uh, you know, with how short the matches are, maybe kills and assists do actually work ba better in the current game. Uh, things could change in future. But yeah, let me know what you think of this design. I mean, it, personally, it's not really my thing. But it's definitely a very successful and definitely a very viable design. Uh, but do let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. And if you have a suggestion of what sort of build you'd like to see me attempt to do, 
Uh, feel free to leave that down in the comments below. We've had some very interesting ones before, and as you've seen, if you've been following the series, you'll know uh, that I do actually try to build these things, and some of them have been particularly outlandish. So, go nuts. Just go absolutely nuts. See uh, what you can come up with and post it down in the comments below, and I might attempt to actually build it for a video. But that's really all from me. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And of course, feel free to share this video with your friends, as, as with any video I put on, on the channel. I notice if any of you have Twitter, feel free to tweet them out. Uh, and one thing about Twitter as well, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash panzerdusk. And uh, tweet at me with screenshots of your builds if you're particularly proud of them. Tweet at me and let me know what you've come up with. And uh, thank you very much for watching. My name is Panzer, and I'll see you next time.